LB Bruins 79 here again. Now we're looking at my 1957 Dodge Custom Royal Lancer, two-door hardtop. I purchased this car from the original owner in 1988, and I paid about $1,500 for the car. It was over in Silver Spring, Maryland. The car had original paint on it. It was about 95,000 mile car. And yes, it was a draft tube engine. So I made sure I went through it very well. I did a lot of uh, old school things to flush out the engine and, and it ran just perfectly fine. I had begun to repaint the blue section because it was showing its age. And I figured why not just save it as it is, as these cars were well known for rusting out car had no rust on it at all really except for some surface areas uh, the front bumper was replaced with a bumper of a 67 coronet the front bumper was damaged um, you know but if you really didn't know the cars you wouldn't be able to tell the difference uh, and only someone who knows these cars knows that that's not the original bumper but it served its purpose I only owned it for a, about a year and I turned around to sell it uh, you just have too many projects, but I had a lot of fun driving this car. Some kids at a, a stoplight one day were just amazed when they were looking across the intersection. And they drifted into the oncoming traffic and uh, they got the nose of their car taking off, but they were not injured. But that's the kind of influence that these cars had on people. Really, if you saw them for the first time, just ask the, the ghost of Harley Earl. So... More or less, as a driver, and I didn't do anything except maintenance, this car was perfect. They are great cars to drive. They handle better than their C-body cousins, actually. And I can only assume that that's because the frame is more rigid and the suspension is only attached to the frame and not to the body. Uh, I, 325 two-barrel, 235 horse. It was more than enough to move this this car it wasn't that heavy it was only 3700 pounds and it had the three-speed torque light or torque flight transmission to it uh, power steering and standard brakes it was a great car and if you ever get a chance to find one or work with one I suggest you take it even if it's a little rusty this one was just a perfect car uh, it ended up in the hands of someone in southern Maryland in 1989 I'm sure they took good care of it. What's, what is there not to take good care of? And that's my own little Virgil Exner style picture. And speaking of the man himself, may he rest in peace. He did the world of automobile technology a great favor. This is LB Bruin 79. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.